Okay, now nugget number two. Nugget number two is this. Funny money. Now, what does that mean? All right. This is a fantastic technique always or has been used for a long, long time by insurance people. Right, so if you're in insurance, you probably know this. It's called funny money. Now, what's funny money? I want you to play with that number. So let's say, for example, you are selling something at a particular price. And it's a huge ticket item, right? It's a big ticket item. And you want to make that number, which is huge, look pretty small. So what do you do? An example would be like this. An insurance agent might say something like, Sir, for this cover of 100000 your premium is about $365 per year. So 365 for some people it's a huge number. So what they do is they make funny money a tool. So they say this. So just imagine you only pay one dollar per day for coverage of a hundred thousand a year the entire time. Every day the only thing you do is you spend one dollar. I mean one dollar a day you get a cover of a hundred thousand or whatever that number may be. So that's called funny money. Something huge, make it look something so small, insignificant, trivial. Why wouldn't I want to buy? So that's funny money from macronizing to micronizing. Now let's do it the other way. Micronizing to macronizing. So something which is small, but make it look big and significant. So for example, let's say we're talking to a manufacturer and we're talking about savings of just $1.20 per box or whatever you're delivering. For example, $1.20 might not look so big, right, to the other party, but this is how you use funny money. You tell them $1.20. Now, we produce 1,000 boxes for you at this particular special price, and you save $1.20, which means you save $1,200 per month, and per year, that's about $14,400 per year. Now, in this three-year contract, that's going to be about almost 45000 in savings, right? So wouldn't you want to sign the deal with us, Mr. Customer? Funny money. So that's nugget number 